Are we missing God's message? Lessons from Jesus' warning in Luke 7 inches. Jesus compared his generation to children in the marketplace, indifferent to both joyful tunes and sorrowful songs. His words cut through time, leaving us to wonder, are we responding to God's call or are we too preoccupied with our own judgments? Three key points and essential lessons emerge for us as Christians to consider today. How did the people of Jesus' time fail to embrace the message, despite the presence of both John the Baptist and Jesus? How can we recognize when we are similarly blind to God's voice in our own lives? What timeless wisdom does this passage offer for living with discernment and openness? Join us as we dive deeper into the message of Luke 7, 31-35. The Context Jesus addresses the crowd, reflecting on how they dismissed both John the Baptist and himself. John's ascetic lifestyle was labeled extreme and demonic, while Jesus' willingness to eat and drink with sinners led to accusations of gluttony. Neither prophet's way of life was enough to satisfy the people, revealing a deeper issue of spiritual blindness. Lessons from their responses The crowd's reaction to both John and Jesus shows a refusal to engage with God's message. They criticized the messengers based on superficial appearances rather than the deeper truth they carried. This mirrors how we too often focus on irrelevant details, ignoring the transformative call of the gospel. Three lasting lessons for today's Christians. Open hearts over judgmental eyes. Just as the people of Jesus' time missed the message because they were focused on outward appearances, we too can become fixated on the wrong things. Whether it's who delivers the message or how it's delivered, we risk missing God's voice if we focus on the superficial. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. Discernment through faith, not criticism. Jesus calls us to recognize truth and wisdom through discernment rather than criticism. Instead of rejecting messages that challenge us, we are encouraged to listen with open hearts and a willingness to be changed. Spiritual Engagement Over Apathy Like children who neither dance to joyful music nor weep at a dirge, many people today are spiritually indifferent. Jesus invites us to actively engage with our faith, respond to God's call, and live with purpose. This passage also echoes James 1.22. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Jesus' warning is a call to action. Responding to the gospel requires more than hearing. It demands transformation. Matthew 11, 15 further echoes. Whoever has ears, let them hear. Listening isn't enough. We must hear with our hearts. Summary. In Luke 7, 31 to 35, Jesus challenges us to move beyond superficial judgments and truly engage with the message of the gospel. His words call us to open our hearts to God's voice, embrace discernment, and live with intentional faith, free from spiritual indifference. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.